What's up everybody, this is Cheesy Mr. Poof, and I'm back with the Magic Mondays, everyone. So, last time we did some Jace Bellerin, we only did one mission, so that was a little bit of a short one. But we're gonna try and, uh, get farther away. And closer to the victory, man. So, knowing one side's plan isn't enough, Alhamrit needs intel from both sides for a successful arbitration. So you're off again, you run into more troops than you were expecting. Someone important must be visiting the camp, which raises the challenge and the potential reward. And we see Jace being this awesome rogue dude here. That's pretty cool, I think. And we're gonna be facing off against soldiers. Now I wonder if it's going to be actual soldiers, like the archetype. Alright, this hand does not seem half bad. It has a phantasm and an azure mage. Double the azure mage, actually. No, I think I can keep this. I, can, I have blocks for days. But he does have a lot of combat tricks. You know what, we're gonna keep this and we're gonna play the turn one phantasm. We're gonna try to fill his graveyard with things. So, Chase's phantasm. It gets plus four plus four as long as an opponent has ten or more cards in his or her graveyard. Now that's pretty bonkers, alright? And he didn't play anything that turn, so that's very good for us. He didn't have a turn one drop. So we can play the Azure Mage. And uh, we could basically just swing since he doesn't have haste in that deck, I think. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have haste. And that's passing of the turn. Now we can counter spells like no other. Okay, that is a glory seeker, a 2 mana 2-2, two, two. nothing we can't handle. Now we can keep up the counter spell in the hand. And we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. We're gonna keep up the counter spell. We're gonna block this, and if he does have a combat trick, we're just gonna counter that shit. And we're gonna swing with the Jesus Phantasm. Confirm the attack! And he can block. And that's it, we pass the turn. Ugh. All right, three planes. He goes for an attack, I presume. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't have a combat trick, ladies and gentlemen. Or maybe he's just afraid of the counter mana. Now, we could use the ability of Azure Mage, but since it's an activated ability, I'm gonna save it for EOT purposes. If he doesn't do anything, I'm just gonna keep swinging with the 1-1 in the air. He can block, but he doesn't. And we're gonna pass the turn. Now we're gonna pause if we need to counter something or if we need to we need to use the card draw ability. Now I am just fine with blocking and trading here because we have another Azure Mage. So I'm gonna confirm the block. Okay. Trading is okay. That's just fine. And now we can play another Azure Mage. But we still have the mana for the cancel. So I'd say we're doing quite fine. We are controlling the board. And we have a counter spell. Counter target spell. Oh. Angel's Mercy. Healing for seven. I don't think we need to counter that because we can keep on using the phantasm to ping him. And just, 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 that is going to fuel his graveyard, which is good for us with the phantasm. Uh, glory seeker, do I even want to counter that? I think not. I'm gonna let it go through. All right, we got some more mana, more mana, more problems. We're just gonna keep swinging with the 1-1 and hopefully 
We'll get some results eventually. And that's passing of the turn. A tutelage would be nice. So we have the cancel. So if he plays anything huge, we have it. He did not attack. He's gonna go straight to main phase. Um, other soldier creatures you control get plus one plus zero. Oh. I mean, yeah, sure, we can counter that. I mean, why not? And that is our turn. Now we have nothing, but we can activate the ability of Azure Mage. So I would do that. And we draw into another island. That is, that is depressing. We have a handful of land. This is like a lot of fucking land. Uh, so, whoa, whoa. That is, that is a lot of land, ladies and gentlemen. And still no attacks, because he's afraid of the counter mana, I suppose. And for a good reason, because we have the fucking cancel in hand. And I guess we draw a card. Oh, it's another Jace's Phantasm. We can actually just play that and still have the cancel mana. Now, if we can get the Jace's Phantasms online with the plus four plus four, we're gonna go ham. We're gonna go super ham on this guy. But anyway, we got a card draw, we got counterspell. He's actually drawing into land, I think. And yeah, he's just gonna keep passing the turn. That is really good for us. We can just keep on playing these cards. I'm not gonna use the card draw ability yet. Because we couldn't have the cancel up. And I wanna keep him in a spot where everything he plays I counter. And that's the way we're gonna win this game. Because we are a filthy blue player. Yes, we pass the turn. Now if he doesn't do anything else, end of turn, we can just draw the card of the Azure Mage. I don't think he's gonna attack. Nope. Yep. Um, before you end your turn, mister, I'm gonna draw some cards. Well, we drew a land. Untap everything. Get more land. We got ten lands. I'm feeling like I should draw a card. But I think the Separatist... Oh, dear lord, that was a phone. Sorry. Um, let's play Separatist Void Mage, actually. And bounce the Glory Seeker. Uh, yes, I want to use this ability. And now we can go ham with the team. Pow, 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 and pow. This is the way we control the board. He didn't get a whole bunch of creatures. He drew into a lot of land. And we're gonna wrap this shit up. Now we have enough mana for a counter spell. We have enough mana for a card draw. We're basically fine. He's gonna replay the Glory Seeker. And we're gonna counter it. Because our board is just fine. We don't need to play around anything here. He doesn't have attacks. Does he have any creatures? Another glory seeker. Well, we don't care. We have a 2-3. And a 2-2 two -two at that. Alright, another Azure Mage. But first, let's use the card draw ability. Dig for some stuff. We can actually turn the tide, which is okay. Uh, should we draw another card? I'm thinking we should. So we drew into an island, which is not exciting, but it's there anyway. Ugh. Ugh. My nose. Anyway, we're gonna swing in with everything except the Azure Mage. Because we don't want him to take it out. And I think this is an okay... Actually, make it harder for him. Only swing with these, so he's gonna have to use a combat trick if he wants to kill the blind phantasm. And I think it's coming. Show of Valor. 
So this card is gonna give him plus two plus four. So we're just gonna turn the tide here. And now he's not gonna kill anything, but he's gonna survive the combat. Oh, he has another show of valor. Talk about eggs in a basket. Well, you've killed a blind phantasm. Congrats, man. Um, I got nothing else. Your turn, man. Attack? I think not. And he plays a land. A sad, sad play. Now, he's basically screwed because we have a cancel and we got a card draw engine. So let's draw a card. And it is the Phantom Warrior. We can actually play the Phantom Warrior, the Azure Mage and the Cancel. So we're gonna do that. And we're gonna start swinging in with the team. Let's swing in with this guy too because he's gonna have to trade if he wants. I mean it's not very good for him but it's not very good for me either. But I have lots of board presents so I don't really care. And that's the passing of the turn. If you play something, I'll cancel it. Okay, just a land. Sorry. Alright, it's our turn. Ah, it is the tutelage of the Sphinx. So now we can get the blind phantasms online and kill him. We're gonna go super bad manners on this guy. Trigger. Play another land. Trigger! I am sorry. Let's go to attacks. Pow, pow. Pop. That's over lethal, man. That is over lethal. Yep. Ugh. Good morning to you two, Amprince soldiers. And we win some coins. We can actually buy some packs. Let's continue on. 15 abilities you control. Trigger. Nice. More story. You deal with the guards and find the general who's visiting the camp. You delve into his mind and see detailed battle plans. But then you go further. You read in his memory and see a meeting with, with a shadowy informant. One with a familiar face. Yours. Dun dun dun. So Jace was being mind fucked by Al Hamaret and it's time to give some vengeance. After two years of training you've learned the truth Al Hamaret has been using you as a go-between, selling intel to both sides and wiping your memories regularly. He's even concealed your nature as a planeswalker. When you confront him the Sphinx unleashes a devastating psychic attack. Okay. So now we're gonna fight Alhamret and we're gonna show him you shouldn't mess with Jace. Alhamret is too tough to defeat in physical combat. Exhaust his mental resources by making him draw from an empty library and you win no matter what his life total is. That sounds pretty awesome to me. He has 40 life, so obviously we're gonna win by milling him. Traumatize is good, but this hand is really bad, so we're gonna draw a new one. This one is even worse, it has nothing. We're gonna draw the next one. This one has an Azure Mage, a Phantasm, and a Tutelage, so we're gonna keep it. Hopefully he doesn't wipe us out. He ends the turn, that's good for us, he doesn't have anything aggro-ish going on for him. We're gonna play a land and pass the turn. Let's see if we can defeat our teacher, the great Al Hamret himself. No attacks and no effects. Now let's see if he is rocking a counter deck with Essence Scatters and Negates. Well, if he is, he didn't use them now. Next turn we have to play the Tutelage because we're gonna need to mill him out fast. No matter what the cost. He plays a Riddle Keeper. Okay, that... Whenever a creature attacks you or a planeswalker you control, that creature's controller puts top two cards into the library into our graveyard. That is bad. Um, so we're not gonna be doing attacking. We're mostly gonna be defending. 
because we don't want to get mailed out. Uh, he is tapped out, so he can't counter the Sphinx's tutelage. Ironic, using your own tutelage against you, Mr. Alhamret. We're not gonna attack, we're not stupid. So we're gonna pass the turn. He's probably gonna swing with the 1-4. Not gonna hurt as much, but it's a swing. Yep, we're gonna be taking that one damage, like a good boy. Skip blocking. So, what can you play for 4 mana? Actually, for 3, uh, an 06 defender with flying, a hover barrier. That's okay, we're gonna mill you out, I'll hammer it. We have no plans for attacks. Yep, we're gonna mill out Mr. Alhamret. Okay, only one trigger. That's a real shame. I would have loved to get more triggers. We're gonna play the 2-3 because we can block easy. And we got nothing else. We're not gonna be stupid. And we're not going to do some reckless attacking. Alright. He's not doing anything, he's main facing, and that's a Bill Tower Sphinx. 5 mana for 2 5, with whenever whenever a source deals damage to Bell Tower Sphinx, that source's controller puts that many cards from the top of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Okay, that one is annoying, um, so we're not gonna block that. Hell no. <laughs> but it's 2 5, which is gonna be bad in the long haul, but. We are getting some good cards. We're gonna be... Oh, did we just mill a Traumatize? We milled a Traumatize. Well, we don't need to browse that. So... If we play the Divination here, it's gonna be two triggers for the tutelage. Mm, I don't think we need to play a blocker yet. Just because his defensive power is formidable at best. So we're gonna play Divination and draw for some cards. And you're going to mill these triggers. Damn! I mean, he has a monocolor deck, but we don't get the double triggers. That's so annoying. Um, skip attacks. We're gonna need to be drawing some serious cards. The mill plan needs to work faster. Alright, so we're gonna be taking two damage because we don't want to get fucked by that and we don't have flyers to block with. Another wall. If he keeps playing walls and pinging us for two, that's fine. I mean, it puts us on a clock, but that's not too bad. Uh, we're gonna use the card draw. Mill him out. Okay, we get the Separatist Void Mage. We're gonna bounce the 2-5 for a turn. Not yet though, because we don't have the mana for it. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, that's the damage we're taking. I hope he doesn't have the actual card I'll hammer it. That would be embarrassing. He's obviously leaving up counter mana here, right? I'm gonna play an island. It's obviously counter mana, right? So, if I play the Phantom Warrior, maybe he is... ...seduced and tries to counter this instead. Okay, it's the Overwhelming Intellect. Counter the creature spell, draw cards equal to that spell's converted mana cost. So he's gonna be drawing three cards. From that card, that's fine, we're gonna play the Separatist Void Mage. And we're gonna bounce the Bell Tower Sphinx. Yes, I want to use this ability. But, actually him drawing cards was okay, because now he milled himself out a little. We don't need to attack, he has huge walls. So does he replay the Bell Tower Sphinx? That's the question. He does, so that's basically taking all of his mana, except two. He might have a counter spell, but we're not gonna be too worried about that. Unsummon on Azure Mage, I presume. Yep, oh, uh, that's annoying. That's gonna set our plans back. But I'm gonna make him draw cards. I mean, mill cards. What am I talking about? 
He has one mana open. I don't think he's gonna have anything. Can we actually use the tutelage ability? That's six mana. Yeah, we can. I think the milling is more important, so I'm gonna use this ability. Um, we drew another island. Uh, we're gonna discard an island, I guess. And he's going to mill. No double triggers, but we are getting there. Slowly but surely, we are at 15. We're only taking uh, two damage a turn from the Belter Sphinx. So we should be fine if the milling goes as planned. Yep, I'll take that damage like a good boy. And that's the end of your turn. <coughs> there you go. Ugh. Play an island, and let's start using the Azure Mage. Draw a card. No responses, I presume. Mill. I'll hammer it. Mill. Okay, he's almost dead to the milling. But should I be conservative and save it for an EOT? Yeah, I'll keep up the cancel and play sneaky. Skip attacks and continue. Because we, we're gonna win anyway. We might as well be conservative and save the cancel. Yeah, we can take two. That's no biggie. But do you wanna cast something? Um each player draws two cards. <laughs> I have I have no problem with that. Cast it all you want, bro. Cause I get double triggers from that and you will fucking die. I'm gonna make you draw cards. Actually, mill. And next turn you are going to die. Okay, we got a grip full. We don't really need to play anything because we end the turn and he loses. Because his library is empty and we have destroyed Alhamret's mind. So we got to mill him out. That was pretty awesome. Mind grind. Yeah. We get the cutscene. Jace. I, I am your teacher. Holy shit, Jace. Why you do this to me? Uh, I'm sorry, master. Oh no, holy shit. Better awaken the power of the planeswalker. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Alhamret's mind has been crushed. Oh, what the hell? And enter Jace in Ravnica. What the heck is this place? Holy shit. This is an art from a forest. Uh, and that was it. <laughs> For some reason there was no audio there. Maybe because I've put the audio settings to a minimum silent. Anyway, we got the coordinated barrage achievement and in Jace's campaign want to duel by depleting your opponent's library because we did the mind grind and that is the story of Jace Bellerin done you duel with Alhamret shatters both of your minds in the process your planeswalker spark ignites sending you to the plane of Ravnica and leaving precious few fragments of your memory intact as you reassemble your identity you come to see this plane spanning city as a place you can finally call home and that is how Jace became Jace. And that is going to be wrapping up the story of Jace Bellwen. Holy shit. Let's actually end the episode with a few pack openings. Boosters. Battle for Zendikar. Actually, we could get eight boosters if we just wait a few. So, in the next... A let's play where I play magic duels. We're probably gonna get that money and I'm gonna buy eight packs of Battle for Zendikar 
So be on the lookout for that. Oh no, I didn't want to press that. <laughs> anyway, this has been Magic Monday, and I'm your host, Jason Mr. Poof. And I hope it has been a pleasure for you, because it has been a pleasure for me. And um, if you enjoyed the content, subscribe to the channel, drop a like, comment, stuff like that, and I'll see you on the next one.